stories from Central Florida this year. It's the story, of course, of missing girl Kaylee Anthony. News 13's Kelly Cope takes a look back at this case. A woman in East Orange County calls 911 to report that her daughter had stolen a car and some money. Minutes later, she calls back to report that her two-year-old granddaughter is missing and has been for more than a month. Those calls have since gripped Central Florida and the world in the search for little Kaylee Anthony. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> I called a little bit ago, the deputy sheriff saying I found out my granddaughter has been taken. And she has been missing for a month. Her mother finally admitted that she's been missing. Okay, what is the one here now? Okay, what is the address that you're calling from? We're talking about a three year old little girl. Oh. My daughter finally admitted that the baby's in the store. That call was made by Cindy Anthony, grandmother to little Kaylee. Cindy and her husband, George, saw their lives change forever since making that call. Investigators have had a difficult task of navigating a trail of conflicting stories. When police questioned Casey on the whereabouts of her daughter, she told them the child was with a babysitter. That sitter denies ever knowing either Casey or Kaylee and is even suing, claiming her name has been permanently damaged by Casey. During the investigation, police discovered hair samples and a stain in the trunk of Casey Anthony's car. More investigations turned up disturbing internet searches with the terms neck breaking, how to make chloroform, and death. Casey has been arrested three separate times on charges including fraud, forgery, and theft. The home of Cindy and George Anthony has turned into ground zero for investigators, the media, and of course, protesters. I'm not sitting protecting Why are you anybody. Sit inside and be in because that is not her even home. Okay, that, that may be her home. But she killed her baby. And you, no, she you didn't. know it. No, she yeah. didn't. Know it. Eventually, the protesters got what they wanted. Casey, back in jail. She was arrested the final time in September and indicted in October for first degree murder of her daughter, Kaylee. Then, December 11th, a utility worker makes a gruesome discovery bones of a small child in woods just a quarter of a mile from the Anthony home. We have secured the Anthony house pending the more investigation. Uh, the detectives will be uh, working there tonight. Uh, we've also uh, exhumed the, uh, the remains and uh, that has been transported to the medical examiner's office. It's been a story that seemed only appropriate for a fiction novel. Twists and turns almost every week. But it's not fiction. It's a sad truth, and the final chapter will most likely be played out in March when it's expected that Casey Anthony will head to trial and face first-degree murder charges. In Orange County, Kelly